I think Elgato just unintentionally created the best tool for backing up your entire OBS setup. If you've ever had to reinstall OBS or accidentally deleted your OBS settings, give me 10 minutes. It's gonna sound like I'm rambling, but I promise this story is going somewhere. A couple months ago, Elgato released a new OBS plugin called Marketplace Connect. And the way they explained it, it's basically a way for you to easily install overlays from the Elgato Marketplace. Normally, when you download overlays from like websites like Nerd or Die, you have to manually install everything and then make sure you have all of the files in the right place and you have all of the right plugins. But the Marketplace Connect plugin makes it really simple. All you do is you find the overlay pack you like, you hit download, and then all the scenes and sources are automatically set up for you. If you need to set up any cameras, it will ask you during the installation process to select your camera. But other than that, you pretty much just download whatever you want. And then everything is like automatically set up for you. It's really cool. The thing is, pretty much nobody is talking about this plugin. And I think I know why. Elgato's in this weird stage where they're a really big company and whenever a big company releases something there's always going to be the skeptics that automatically assume that oh this is just a way for elgato to line their pockets and sell overlays to people and then they're gonna like get their partners to talk about it and talk about how great the plugin is which is ironic because i'm i'm one of those people there's gonna be at least one person that rushes to the comments and accuses me of being paid off by elgato i am an elgato partner but Elgato never asked me to make this video. They don't even know that I'm making this video. Nevertheless, it's fair for you to be critical of some of the things I have to say about Elgato because of my relationship with them. Having said that, this is one of the most important OBS plugins ever and a plugin that I think everybody should install. For one, this was made by Finite Singularity. He's the same guy that made a lot of OBS plugins that you guys use all the time, like the Composite Blur plugin or the Stroke Shadow Glow plugin. So this isn't just some random guy that they hired. This is one of the key contributors to the OBS community. One of the most important people out there right now making OBS plugins. And the reason why they even made this plugin in the first place is one, obviously they're trying to sell overlays to you. I think that's pretty obvious. But two, the overlays that are on their marketplace were made by regular people called makers. The idea is if you're a person who's really good at making beautiful OBS scene layouts, you could take your overlay, package that up, and then put it on the Elgato marketplace through their makers program. The thing is, in order to bundle your scene layout, all of the makers needed a way to export their scene layouts with all of the image files, all of the video files, the browser sources, the transition files. So that's where this plugin comes in. The Marketplace Connect plugin, hidden inside the settings, there is an option that lets you package up your entire scene collection with all the image files, video files, browser sources, transition files, Every single file that you use for your entire OBS setup can be packaged up into a single file that you can take to another PC or give to one of your friends and they can install your entire OBS setup from a single file. And the cool thing is when your friend goes and installs your scene layout, there's a little setup guide that walks you through setting up all your cameras and your microphones because Everybody has a different camera and microphone setup, right? So the installation guide lets you pick your camera so that when it installs the scene layout, your camera is wherever it's supposed to be in the layout. But here's the kicker. You don't need to be an Elgato maker to do this. Everybody has access to this tool. What that means is if you're moving your OBS setup to another PC, or if you're reinstalling Windows, you can just export your entire scene layout with the Marketplace Connect plugin, take that one file over to your other PC, and then install your entire setup from that single file. 
and you don't have to worry about like packaging up all the files like the image files yourself because it's included in that single bundle even if you're just reinstalling obs you can back up your entire setup with the marketplace connect plugin reinstall obs and then import your scene later hell if you don't care about being an elgato maker you could package your own design and sell them on your own website without having to go through like the whole marketplace thing. You can just make your own marketplace. I have my own website, nutty.gg, and I might even consider putting up a few of my own stream designs so that you guys can download them in the future. I haven't seen a single video about this plugin from any of the people, all the big people that make like streaming videos. I haven't seen anyone talk about this plugin and I feel like it's because it's a big company that made it and people just assume like, oh, corporate capitalism bad and they're just trying to sell things to me. I bet if some random dude uploaded the same plugin to GitHub, you guys would be all over this plugin by now. I, I can't believe no one's talking about this plugin, but I will. So uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Stop being cringe and paying full price for Windows with our sponsor, VIP SD Keys. You can get a Windows 11 license for as low as $21. Just use my code NUTTY at checkout to get them for 30% off. And if you want to get them for a little bit cheaper, you can get a Windows 10 key for $15, and those can be updated to Windows 11 completely for free. You can pay using a secure payment method like PayPal. They'll send you an activation code immediately, and then you can put that in your Windows settings, and you're good to go. Check out VIP SD Keys in the link down below. So if you're interested in trying out the Elgato Marketplace Connect plugin, I'll leave it linked down below. After you install it, you'll see an option under tools that says Marketplace Connect. Now, if you're actually interested in using the plugin for what it's intended for, which is buying Elgato's overlays, then you can sign in here. But if you're only interested in using the plugin for backing up your OBS, you don't need to worry about signing in. Instead, click on the settings cog and turn on maker tools. It's gonna ask you to restart OBS, so go ahead and do that. And when you restart OBS, there will be a new option under tools that says export maker scene collection. It's gonna give you a list of all of the media files that are gonna be included in the bundled package. Then it will ask you to name your different camera sources and microphone sources. So for example, if you have a layout that has two cameras, one of them might be for a face cam and then the other camera is intended for like a keyboard cam or something, you can name them here so that when someone goes to install your setup, it will tell them what the camera is supposed to be. It'll make more sense when we go to import our scene collection later. Believe it or not, this also supports plugins. So it's going to detect which plugins are used in your OBS setup. So if your scene layout requires the drop shadow plugin, for example, it's going to be listed at the end here. Then you just save that as a dot Elgato scene file. And that one file contains everything, every single media file, all your transitions, everything is bundled into this one file. Now, later on, if you want to restore your setup because your computer exploded or you're planning on selling your design on your own store, you just come up here and click where it says import maker scene collection. You select the file you created before and then it automatically creates a whole installation guide from what you entered before. So like I said, if you have like a dual camera setup, it's going to ask you to set up both individual cameras during the installation process. Again, this is super helpful if you're intending on selling your designs because you don't have to like write instructions telling your people who buy your stuff. Customers, that's the word. You don't have to tell your customers like, hey, go in and edit this source and turn it into this camera, blah, blah, blah. Like it automatically creates an installation guide for you. It's, it's so sick. Anyone who wants to install your scene collection they just need that one Elgato scene file and then everything is set up for them. But yeah, super cool plugin. Uh, just thought I'd share that because uh, I'm big on keeping backups for stuff because I like the word, there's nothing worse than spending months on creating a beautiful scene layout. And then, uh, then a sniper comes and like shoots like your PC. Um, you know what I mean? Like it's no one wants that happening to them anyway. Uh, check out my website, nutty.gg. I think at some point, uh, I'm gonna take a stab at uh, making my own scene design that you guys can just download from my website. 
Um, or maybe Elgato can put it on their marketplace, but if, if they're like, oh, your, your designs are suck, we don't want to put them on our marketplace, then I'm just going to put them on my, on my own website. Speaking of which, um, is anyone interested in making their own website, by the way? Because these past six months, I've been building my own website, and I got to be honest with you, this is like the easiest shit in the world, and I feel like no one else is doing it for some reason. So if anyone wants to know how to make a website like my own website, nutty.gg, uh, let me know, because I'd, I'd be interested in making a video on that. Anyway, uh, check out the website, nutty.gg. I make cool stream widgets and stuff. I'm guessing if you reach this point of the video, uh, you probably already knew that. Thanks. See you um in two minutes when I record the next video.